Have you ever wanted to play on multiple Roblox accounts at the same time, but you really just didn't know how to do it? And the methods you've found online seem a little sketchy or unsafe or potentially could even result in a ban from Roblox? Today, I'll show you how I can run upwards of 10 Roblox accounts all at the same time on the same computer with zero worry of getting banned, hacked, or scammed. Before we get into that, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and like the video. All the links that you guys will need for this method are going to be in the description down below. It's all set up for you, so just be sure to follow along by following the links. Again, this is all completely safe. I've been running this method for about a year now, and my Roblox accounts that I use on them, I've spent way too much money on, but there's absolutely no risk. It's been completely safe, and I've had absolutely no problems with running these accounts all at the same time. There are a handful of ways that you can actually run multiple Roblox accounts on the same PC all simultaneously. I've actually made another video on the old way that I used to do it, but if this method doesn't work for you, feel free to go check it out. It's linked up top. Today, I'm going to show you the main way that I do it where it's all organized. It's incredibly seamless. It's so easy to use. This method does work for any Roblox game that you want to play, but personally, I love playing Pet Simulator 99, and if you do too, then awesome. And if you don't like it, don't worry. This works for any other game as well. But the one that I've been using personally is Roblox Account Manager. Roblox Account Manager, when I originally heard about it, how you have to log into the accounts on the client, I was a little skeptical, but I did enough research on the code of the software. And there's really nothing bad about it. It's honestly just a really nice plugin that's made by some pretty cool people. And if you look here, some of the great features that we have here are logging into multiple accounts. As you can see, I have my main, I have my girlfriend's account, which is right here. And I have my two alt accounts that I have also seen in the private server in Pet Simulator 99. This account is completely used just for selling items and or huges from the game. But if you see, I can click join server right here. And if we give it a second, it does take a moment. But here we are, it's currently loading up. And this is our fourth instance on this computer alone as we can see this is a completely brand new client that is separate from these four and does not shut down the other three that is just insane to be able to have that functionality especially in a game like pet simulator or any kind of grindy idle sim game you can even give it a description so i have free to play farm one two and three and i also gave this one just a selling description just so that way if i do have a lot of usernames listed i don't have to really pay attention even though i know them i can just quickly see selling hit that hit join server and boom we're done but beyond the features let's actually just get into the installing portal portion of it. So if you follow the link in the description in the video, you'll be brought to here. Now, for the most part, this does look pretty technical and a little overwhelming right off the rip, but I can tell you right now, it's actually super easy for you to be able to follow these steps. The nice thing is, this is through GitHub. GitHub is not like something like Mediafire or any other like weird sketchy download site that has like 18,000 ads that are trying to get you to click download now and you end up downloading the wrong thing and potentially getting a virus on your PC. GitHub is something that is completely different. This is an entire thing dedicated to people who are software or hardware engineers to be able to upload their code in a safe environment for people to be able to use the applications that they make. But if you're not here to listen to all that, what we're going to do is we are going to scroll down here. It's going to say the readme. It gives us a warning about certain features that they've added to the game that may potentially crash the program. And if the program does crash, then obviously you can't run it. But what we're going to do is we're going to hit this blue download button again right here. We're going to hit the blue download button. It should pop up in your downloads just like this. It's going to come up as a zip file. What we're going to do is we are going to right click this and we're going to hit extract all. You can extract it really anywhere that you want. I'm just going to extract it right here for the sake of the video. Here we are. Now we have access to the Roblox account manager. It's going to ask you to set up the account. I already have it running, so we're going to shut it down. But now when I open it, we have this entirely new system here. We can either do default encryption, but personally, I like the password lock. So I do password lock. I can give it anything that I want as a passcode. And then it's going to say, please confirm your passcode. It can be any amount of digits that you want it to be. I just went with pretty simple ones, but boom, here we are. Now we are in a completely blank canvas for the Roblox account manager. You can add as many different accounts as you want with as many different purposes as possible. But before you even add an account, what I need you to do is actually click this gear button. I need you to make sure that this setting right here, the multi Roblox setting has a blue check mark with it. Otherwise, you will not be able to run multiple accounts at the same time. It'll just try to switch the accounts in and out. When you go to add account, it's going to pop up this window. It's going to have you log into Roblox. So we're going to log into one of my old accounts. This is actually my girlfriend's account, but we're going to hit login. If you have any two-step verification set up at all, it will ask you to go through this. 
So I'm just going to hit trust this account for 30 days. I'm going to go over to my authenticator just to log in. And once you're done, it's going to log you in and boom, you have your first account here. Now that we have an account logged into the Roblox account manager, we need to direct it to a game. Before we even join a game at any point in time, we need two things. One, we need the place ID. So the actual ID of the Roblox game, but also two, you need to have all of your Roblox accounts that you have logged in. If you have a main account running right now, if you're playing on an account as you're running the application, it will not work. You need all of your Roblox sessions to actually be completely shut down before you run this application in order to play on multiple accounts at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up Roblox. I'm going to show you exactly what I meant by the place ID. We're going to click on Pet Simulator 99 right here, and we're going to look at this link right here in the top. There's a section in the link of numbers, and this is the place ID. So you want to make sure that you grab this from the link, copy it. We're going to go back here and then we're going to go right here. Current place, place ID right here where the numbers are. We're going to just paste that in. Once it pastes in, boom, it says Hacker Pet Simulator 99. Awesome. We can now click this and hit join server. And as that begins to load, let's go ahead and add a second account into this equation here. So we're going to hit the add account button. There we go. Another account has been added to the list. Again, if you want to add a description to these accounts, by all means, you can. I believe you just double tap right here. You just say I can call this alt account one and then I can just double click here. and I can do alt count two. Perfect. Now we have double descriptions. If you want to join on the second account, all you have to do is select the account that you want to join on and hit join server. You should be able to have two accounts running at the same time. And again, this can go upwards of 10 plus accounts, as you can see in the background right here. As you can see right here, it is already starting to pop up and boom, my friend has joined my server. There's our second account. This is only an example of two accounts that you can do it on, but you can easily do this on 10, 15, 20 accounts all simultaneously, as long as your computer can actually run that. This is by far one of the best ways to play multiple instances of the game at the same time, especially if you're in the clan battle right now for Pet Simulator 99, because you need alt accounts in your Void World server in order to get the maximum efficiency for potential key drops. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, then by all means, <laughs> just ignore that but anyways guys i really do hope this helped this is how i run all of my accounts all at the same time on the same pc typically i'm always running four or five accounts even while editing or recording videos just to make sure that i'm always being as efficient as possible in pet simulator 99 but you can also do the same in any other roblox game all right i'm interrupting myself in this video because i may have completely forgot about the giveaway when i was recording it so that is my apologies i do remember the giveaway from the last video so they're going to show up on screen right now and i'm going to be sending these out as we speak I apologize for completely missing that. I was really focused on doing my first video with actually having a camera in there that I may have forgot completely about sending out the items for the giveaway. There goes the first hoverboard. Congratulations to Hedgy. There goes the second hoverboard. Congrats to Mighty Pro Dude Gaming. And the last hoverboard is going to Thy Duckman 100. Again, congratulations to you, homie. And the huge goes to Arm Not Pro. Congratulations again to all of the people that actually entered in the giveaway. Let's just go to the history just to prove one, two, three sent out and the fourth one. Sadly, the question marks are there. I hate that glitch very much so. But I figure for the next huge giveaway for Pet Simulator 99, I'm going to give away this huge fossil dragon right here. Honestly, one of the cooler huges added to the game in my personal opinion but again all you guys have to do to be eligible for these giveaways subscribe to the youtube channel that sub button down below like the video just comment down below what you thought of the video and don't forget your username i can't preface that enough bro the amount of people that give me a wonderful comment on the video but just lose the chance or lose the role when i do roll for the comment section because they just didn't put their username like i can't i can't mailbox you bro you didn't put your username so if you don't mind just place your username even if it's at the bottom or the front of the comment i don't care so long as it's there so i can get back to you guys thank you so much for watching i really do hope this helped i'll see you guys next time later